Let's go. Hello, everyone. I am Zooch, and I'm going to be running a viewfinder for you today. Uh, originally, it was going to be any percent, but thanks to your donations, we hit the 100% upgrade incentive. So I'll be able to show off the optional levels in the game, as well as grabbing all the collectibles. I have a stacked couch commentary with me. You guys <laughs> could introduce yourselves. Yo, I'm Brian Otto. Uh, I ran this game for a minute. I also moderate for it. Uh, this is kind of cool, because I only really did any percent in my time, so there's going to be probably a good amount of stuff that I'm not super familiar with. Right. So I'll also be counting our cats, or sorry, counting the cats early, counting the cat <laughs> pets through the run. Very stoked for that. Thanks, everybody, for donating for that. Awesome. Hey, everyone. Uh, Bobby Berm, also a runner of this game, former world record holder for the 100% category. I'm really excited to see this one shown off. I ran any percent at TwitchCon GDQX uh, a couple months ago, so really excited to see this again and Zooch to crack the game wide open. All right. And hello, everyone. My name is Osborne. You might recognize me from earlier this week when I did the Manifold Garden run um, or the Skater Gator 3D run. And now I'm here commentating Viewfinder. I'm a runner of this game as well, and I um, moderate and like own uh, the Discord and the SRC pages for it. And I'm super excited to see what Zooch has in store for us here with 100%. Cool. Whatever okay. you're ready, Zooch. Thanks, guys. Um, before I start, the uh, Pet the Cat incentive ended up finishing at 45 pets. Is that correct, Shadow? That is correct, yeah. $22,525 nice. raised. Thank you Fantastic. for petting a cat. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Thank for that. you. Incredible. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to start then. I will count down from five. Five, four, Three, two, one. Go. Go. Good luck. All right. Thank you. So Viewfinder is a first-person puzzle platformer uh, that is based around a very, I guess, simple mechanic that completely alters the way that you view the world, so to speak. So we're going to be finding these Polaroid pictures, and we can rotate them and place them down however, and they will literally appear in the world. They'll have, like, collision. The, they'll be bound to the laws of physics, I feel like, most of the time anyway. Um, and this is really, what you're seeing here is really just a start. You know, this is a wild run to be watching if you're just up at 5 a.m. right yeah. now. <laughs> like, this is going to be really, cool. really is. You'll, you'll also see right here that anything that's within the image, like any of the batteries that we see, are also going to be, like, real and turn real. And so um, a lot of the time you're going to see a, uh, a Zooch, like, angle a lot of the so cool. uh, paintings mm -hmm. in specific ways or the photos in specific ways to uh, uh, solve uh, puzzles or even have objects in the in the uh, paintings fall in specific ways. Such First collectibles. Um, and we also have collectibles. I know Bobby is the expert uh, here with that. Well, we love the collectibles. Each each different hub world will have a multitude of those collectibles. This first uh, this first level or hub world will have uh, four ducks that we're going to have to collect. We'll see more of those throughout the run. Yeah, exactly. And right here in this level, you can see that he's getting two batteries and using the paintings to just wash away all the walls. That's, like, that's a great demonstration that, like, it's not even just pictures, right? It's like there's a, there will be a lot of different various, like, paintings or whatever that we can do that will manipulate the world, and it's really... We, that, oh, 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 my oh, God. Dude, I was oh, really worried oh. about this. Oh, no. I figured this would happen. Production? Yeah. What's going on? This is a joke. Uh, sorry. We should have, you know what? Just I'm kidding. so sorry, Tech. We should have told you about that. Just I don't know kidding, if we guys. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. There's, there's pandemonium. Uh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. My right bad. Yeah, this is, yeah, spoiler this is alert. We're in a simulation. Yeah. So. This is what it looks like behind GDQ backstage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's but, good. Uh, the simulation failed, and we're going to do the classic IT solution nice. of turning nice. it off and turning it back on again. Amazing work. It's right looking here. pretty doomed out there, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it really is. It's so over, I might say. So well, it's time to go back to the simulation now. Back into the, back into yeah. the, back into the stream. To give like a quick lore dump, basically, um, you are inside some simulation with uh, this old team of, or with like this past team of scientists that was trying to solve the climate change problem, basically. As you saw the brief glimpse out there, we are so far in the future that it looks like that. So, mm -hmm. exactly. anyway. And you saw us uh, uh, reloaded uh, the file there so to, to, to skip some walking and immediately get uh, like teleported right back in front of the teleporter to enter the level sooner. Yeah, so we're back where we just were, and now I'm going to use these photos to pretty much make a makeshift bridge here over to this teleporter. Excellent. Beautiful. And the simulation is working, so we didn't yeah. have anything uh, crash on us. This this next level is just um, a level that I like to describe as like the devs liking to flex on us. Um, <laughs> oh, we can so see that sick. it's not just photos that uh, will work. It's also all kinds of paintings, such as this one right here. Um, or this drawing, even a kid's drawing that we're going to see uh, right here after we drop on this cactus. Uh, Ooh, there's a fun mechanic we haven't even talked about yet, which is cool. 
Nice. Falling is by far the fastest way to move in this game, and so anytime we can fall, we will fall. Yeah, and the mechanic that uh, Brian Otto mentioned right there was the rewind mechanic. Essentially, anything like anything that you do in this game can be easily uh, redone just by the rewind mechanic. Um, like uh, holding down, like uh, double pressing R will like uh, bring it back to you, the most recent time you were on the floor, the most recent action you did, or you can just hold down R and it'll uh, slowly rewind. It's very, it essentially guarantees any kind of marathon safety for this uh, game because anything exactly. that you mess up, you can just redo. So, uh, yeah, this introduces the photocopier. This level, you can literally copy photos to produce more batteries. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll be, able, we'll be using that many, many times throughout the run. I love this one picture solve. You can, you're usually supposed to do this in like three or four pictures, but if you line up it the right way, rotate it the right way. So cool. And you have to be careful with that too because the, the exit to the teleporter um, has to be like a certain degree of upright. So that's why there's a lot of waiting going, or that's kind of finicky how, why Zuch was trying to set yeah, that up like that. Exactly. In the, currently the, currently the, in our first optional level of the game, uh, we will be doing all of the optional levels inside of the game, as you'll see here. So we have our final uh, collectible in our first hub world as well, our final duck right here. We have our four <laughs> to four indicated in the top right. Really nice job. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful level. Um, a lot of the optional levels in this game are absolutely amazing. I think they're one of the more complex puzzles uh, out there. And as there you can see, are. here are our four ducks <laughs> they've collected. Pets. Um, each... Nice job. Each and every single uh, like hub world that we see here, like this in the main hub world, uh, they all connect uh, via the teleporters, all these levels, um, and they all have different collectibles that we're going to be seeing, and, and also a different number of... There's collectibles. the cat. We can't pet him quite uh, yet. The cat. Surprised you yeah, Kate is, yeah. has these it's ethereal states well, where Kate can't be pet, so... Yeah, exactly. Only in levels we can pet. But here we have Tramskip. You guys want yeah, to explain Tramskip for Yeah, Tramskip, essentially, um, what Zuchibo is going to be doing is that he's going to wait until the third pillar moves by his camera and then try to clip out nice. like that. Nice, fantastic. Uh, what that does is essentially, uh, the moment that the tram um, loads into the next area like that, uh, Zooch is going to be taken with the tram because the game thinks he's still in the tram. And then as soon as the tram loads into the next area, um, <laughs> Zooch will be p placed exactly where the immediate like spawn point is, which is right at the beginning of the level. Um, and then you can pretty much skip the entire tram ride. Um, and there is a backup for it if you don't like manage to clip out, which is just saving and uh, quitting. And it has a different spawn point, and it'll still save some time over just like riding the tram out completely. Uh, but thankfully, uh, Zooch Zoo got a like, first try immediate. Uh, That's awesome. So it's just it's probably like one of the harder tricks of the run, and you're going to see it multiple times. Definitely one of the most aggravating. Oh, 100%. Sure. It, it saved yeah. about like 20 seconds per, so it's important to get that every single time. Yeah, and in like a 20, 30 minute round, it's almost essential. Mm -hmm. um, so every single hub world is going to be kind of, uh, as far as like the lore goes, it's going to be themed around the various different like artists or scientists that interacted with this simulation world. And this one is going to start playing a lot into perspective. Yes. Um, like well, I guess most of the run does, but this one in particular, you're trying to line up the various pieces. Yeah, we have a cool glitch here where uh, I kind of need to be quiet, actually. Oh, so I for sure. You listen for this part. How do I not know what this is? It's wild. There we nice. go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Did you want to explain that, Zuzh? Yeah, so to, usually yeah. you need to hit three switches to turn on filters for that perspective part to work, but uh, you can avoid having to hit those switches if you just stand in the exact right spot. So you just have to go back and forth until it pops. Literally like the pixel. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, it's so, probably like that the recent? most... Yeah, it's probably yeah, the yeah, most... Okay, recent. Recent. I've never seen that, so... Yeah, uh, in this level, we introduced another mechanic known as the upright cameras. Um, it'll take a picture of, like, one. anything. <laughs> yeah, there's one pet. Can I get another? Uh, do we get another? There Two. There we, there we go. go. Two <laughs> out of 46. 45. Or 45, my we have some more. So the second hub world, we have magnets. So we have four of them to collect here for the 100% yeah, run. Exactly. Yeah, so. and here we have our first example of stationary cameras. I need two batteries to charge this teleporter. So I'm going to throw the battery in front of the camera and take a photo of it. And place the photo so the battery drops on the pad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And in this level, we have a little fun oh, game the the, yeah. Yeah. to grow this plant. Uh, so it's like a minute long auto scroller. so it's a great time to read donations, and I'm going to be petting Kate most of the time. Sure thing. Yeah, we got $25 from Quid saying, what's Gucci, my Zucci? That's my goat. Three. Really? We also got $10 from Pokey saying, I have been working as an internal medicine doctor for two years now, meeting cancer patients almost every day. Thanks to AGDQ for raising money for this great thing. Keep it up. Five. 
You can keep going with donos. Sure. Yeah. We got uh, fifty dollars from Pete saying, "Let's get that viewfinder run to hundred percent!" Hooray! And sixty-four dollars from Tyler, who helped get that pet cat incentive up as high as it did, <laughs> saying, "Let's pet that cat and see that hundred percent run." There's ten. Eleven. Keep Only going with donations. Thirty-four more to go. Uh, let's see here. We got $50 from Zintel saying, a fantastic event so far, GDQ. My wife and I love watching these events every year. Keep up the fantastic work. A big thank you to everyone working hard behind the scenes to keep this event running smoothly. It's amazing. And uh, let's see here. Ooh, $50 from Ice Cream Man saying, I said I'd get up early to watch this run, and I'm a man of my word. Uh... Good luck to Zooch on the run and our incredible right. commentators on the couch. Cancer has affected my family a bit. 20. And being able to support the fight against it in this, it feels so good. Let's beat cancer, y'all. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks for that. Amazing Thanks. timing as well, because we're running, going right into the last level of uh, World 2, or a last uh, required level, at least. There's another bonus one after this. Um, but That's right the any percent talk in there from Osborne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and right here we get introduced to another, uh, like, just cool thing that we do in the speed run uh, where we just try to juggle two batteries uh, next to each other. It's much more, like, meticulous than it looks. It actually is so much harder than it's, it looks. It's incredibly hard. <laughs> it's wild, yeah. Uh, but the good thing about it is that, that you good. can use, like, one battery to move the other, and so you don't have to consistently uh, pick, up each, uh, pick up each and every one. Nice. Um, every time you want to move it. And so... Uh, if, oh, if done perfectly, you can like really gain some distance with uh, the way that you push these batteries. You yeah, no, saying? fantastic. No, Zuch just did a quick little jump here to skip that little section and coming back here to grab a second battery. And we have another collectible here. We have our third collectible coming up as we drop this battery here right on this table right here. And we'll nice. be into our final level, which is our optional level, which is pretty cool looking. And I really like this level, weirdly enough. It's all about angles on this one. And so, uh, again, final collectible right here. This one took me way too long casually oh, and yeah. the solution I did was not even the intended one so oh. that was pretty cool honestly. I will say I do think that I solved this in an unintended way as well mm. it's a very complicated puzzle alright there we nice. go we're yeah, done nice. with them too yeah. done with Fantastic. world 2 beautiful and for reference Zoots were at 21 pets 21 okay thank yeah. you great we're, heading towards the we're on pace <laughs> <laughs> alright will Zooch get yeah. tram skip Watch number 2 Let's see. This one, I think, is the easiest out of all of them, so I will be a little disappointed. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. There you go. Nicely done. Nice job. Nicely done. Really so we are actually going to get a camera, finally, uh, in this next upcoming level that will allow us to manipulate our own pictures and begin to manipulate the world even more. Yeah, and I'm going to be going for that goofy uh, perspective glitch that we saw earlier where I'm going to Oh, that works here too. So That's great. Yeah, yeah. If I could have some more silence, that'd be great. Nice. Beautiful. Fantastic. Audio cue there indicating when we can look up and start going again. Absolutely amazing. That's actually so huge. It's yeah, awesome. those, some it's of those perspective cool. puzzles are long, too. Time so. time. And like the jumping you have to do behind the scenes. Yeah. Around with those, some of those levers. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool and little. Cool and little as you can see, if you like kept a, like a keen eye out, like the tram is in this level for some reason. <laughs> um, after you perform tram skip, it's like something that's very broken and glitchy about the tram specifically, but um, we, don't, we don't exactly know what, the reason why that it's there, but it's because of the, we had to skip it earlier. Mm -hmm. um, just floating uh, in the middle of the level. And I would say now we're pretty much off to the races. There are no more mechanics left to introduce to us, so stuff is about to start looking like this a lot. Mm. Yeah. Um, As and, and like we've mentioned before, falling is fast. You're yeah. definitely going to see quite a few falling strats uh, throughout the run. You'll also notice that we're going to be generally like tilting stuff downward and like jumping down a hill any mm. any time that we're able to. I love this strat, yeah. honestly. This one right here. Exactly. It's very cool. Yeah. A lot of people have like a love hate relationship with World Three. I feel like it's because they, you have a lot to do in World Three, um, and in, on the inverse of that is that if you do everything like correctly, it's actually an incredibly satisfying level to do right. Um, just because of all the movement and all the strats you're going to do. For example, this strat right here, this where we're going to be uh, like getting rid of the pillar except for the battery and just having the battery land directly onto uh, the pad right there and the second battery as well. This is clean. Work. This is really clean. Like, really, really clean. Clean. I don't know if it looks hard, but a lot of those lineups and angles Very and everything, it's so easy for just like... I mean, how many times does the battery just miss the pad there? Oh, so you, much. Yeah. Or like yeah. chop, <laughs> completely chop it For off. me, it's like every run. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Precisely. Amazing. Um, coming up here, we have a few more of the collectibles here, and so we can also pet Kate a couple more times if we wanted to. Don't have to. Here. I missed him. 
There you go. 23. There we go. Look at that. Nice. For the road. Uh, 24. One thing we haven't noticed, you can collect film uh, across the course of the game, and so that's our way to collect more photos inside of a level. And so uh, you'll see the little number on the camera as well. That's a good thing to call out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a limitation for how many times we can take a photo. Exactly. And yeah. that will change from level to level depending on, you know, nice how push. they designed it. Wonderful juggling over there with the... 25. Nice. Batteries. I am so dedicated to counting these pets right now. You have no You're idea. You're doing a great job. Well, we have Thank 20 you so left. much. And uh, this is a, a level where you kind of kill two birds with one stone, stone, so to speak, to take a picture of, like, the battery, the pad, and uh, the teleporter all at once. So you can just... Um, uh, bring both batteries onto the pad like that at the very end there. Um, oh, we got the overlapping music here too. Because we did the tram skip, you're going to hear the tram skip through the whole level, and then you'll also hear the menu music overlapping with it. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. it's very silly. Really clean. Nice job nice. with that one. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, a lot of these puzzles are uh, just about keeping everything in frame here because these switches turn on the teleporter, and if you cut nice any job. of the electrical wiring out, it won't work. Yeah, yeah. The the This game is... I mean, in one word, I would say precision. I think there's Absolutely. yeah a lot in like framing, framing the pictures, getting the right angles. Very technical. Yeah, yeah definitely a game of like micro optimizations and you know mm. small like half second time saves here yeah. and there. And it might not like look hard, but I like these this. last two levels where like you have to pull nice a lever job. as you're falling down is actually an incredibly hard thing to do. Um, and Suja's just making it looking so easy. Coming up here, we have a couple. More complicated 100% levels coming up. So, firstly, we are going to grab one of these tiles here. Um, oh, I've done this countless <laughs> number of times. You just oh, oh that yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. We also have like another mechanic nice. introduced here, known as like the pads and also the timers. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, uh, it allows you to disconnect any connections between uh, the main lever, the main pad. Uh, especially with these timers here, you can see that we took a picture of like the timer and the connection to the teleporter. And as long as uh, Zooch gets to the teleporter before the timer runs out, um, it, it, he'll be able to exit the level. And the the, the time on the t on the timer Dustin. is different depending on the level. I'm gonna jump in here. We need to take a picture of these three Dustins. We need to duplicate the three Dustins to make an achievement, which we need for one of the filters for 100%. Got it at the top, Sepia. Um, we're gonna go around here. Um, grab this photo. 26. Pet, um, fall through here. Uh, rotate that and hop into this little tunnel where we're going to get another one of our Mahjong blocks. Absolutely beautiful. This is wild. Like, I'm, I, oh, it's I haven't, I'm not, yeah, this is... Yeah, and then we just took going a photo of the teleporter at the beginning of the level, so we kind of just solved the level all That the was way so down efficient, here. especially that little pet you got in there. Don't think I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was beautiful. Tight jump here. I'm just trying to test you, bro. I really like this specific move where you like you back up and you jump and take a picture of the timer and the teleport at the same time. Um, it's an absolute, it's incredibly satisfying to do well. Absolutely. Final tile coming up here inside of Stonehenge. Funny enough, we're gonna take a photo here, hop on top of here, grab that grab, tile, and we're jump out. In the postcard. Oh, this game beautiful. is so cool. It really it is. is so cool. Nice job, Zuch. Thank you. All the collectibles done in this hub world as well. We yeah. say uh, for this next segment here, we have time for like. Like yeah. one or two donations? It's mainly just yep. perspective puzzles, except for the very end zone. Sure thing. Yeah, we got $1,000 from PokeMC with no awesome. comment. We also have $100 from Epiphane saying, so glad I was able to wake up for this incredible run of Viewfinder. Watching it interacting with the four of you has inspired me to start speedrunning more games, and the things you're able to do in this game are absolutely incredible. Good luck. Thank you so much for Thank that you. donation. One if of you haven't seen of the his uh, satisfactory run earlier in the week, mm -hmm. you should go see it on, on YouTube. Uh, and there's just one final trick that uh, Zuch is going to try and do here. Essentially, he's going to uh, walk up to this battery, and it's going to turn into a painting after a certain like distance. And if you rewind and let go of the rewind on the same frame, that like the battery turns back solid. You can walk up to it, and it'll become like it won't turn back into a painting. Nice, like that. fantastic! Exactly. I hate that strat so much. <laughs> it is wild, but it yeah. saves so much time. I can't, I, <laughs> so much time. I, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've just been probably done that like twenty times. In like a row if you do that, works. if you do that first try, it's a huge time saver. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. That was very clean. Thank really nice you. Job. Now we're going into my personal favorite hub world and level, I would say, overall here. Some uh, awesome strats coming up that. Uh, this is a try hard yeah. chapter here. We'll zoot yeah. another tram skip here. We, we, we have a. Not. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh. Oh, okay. It's all right. So here, here, we'll see the alternative strat. We just kind of wait for the level to load. Unless? Unless? Yeah. Nah, yeah. Okay. This so this is the backup. It loses like two seconds. Yeah. So it's really not that bad. Just, uh, but yeah, this level introduces some really, really, really cool tech that I'm very excited to talk about once we get oh, there. Actually, yeah, take some photos of K here. I am going to get pets, some pets in rather. here. 27. 
28. Nice. You know, 29. We'll get to 30 and then we'll save it. 30. Later. All right. Thank you. The main, the main mechanic this level introduces is like this persistent geometry that you're going to see, this purple stuff. It's not affected by photos, so it's obviously going to be another wrench in our puzzle solving. Uh, whatever. I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of trailed off. <laughs> Repertoire. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, you get it. Um, and yeah, so. There will be times when we just kind of look directly at a wall and oh wait we're doing this now okay, okay. here we go here go we go it. so we're gonna we're gonna basically choreograph our emotions and then go sit down in a chair and then we're gonna use our camera timing to remember exactly where nice. we were and then suddenly you just appear on top yeah. of this platform uh, yeah so basically when you sit that this game allows us to bind macros just like in the in the keybinds you can bind two things to to one. Yeah, and I guess a, I'll come back to that because there's a lot going on here. Because yeah, we got the mug, mug launch coming up. Um, the physics in this game are really weird because if you walk towards this uh, mug and as it's falling down and you just jump up, it'll give you a huge launch upwards. Like, oh, oh, oh so, so close. close, got it. Close. And it's really weird because the mug, yeah, even when you rewind, it's not going. There we go. Yes. Nicely done, dude. It's not going back to the same position. It like changes slightly. It's not 100% yeah. precise. I pretty much skip all of the actual puzzle solving of this puzzle. I it cannot express time. how hard that is. It's, it's it looks very so much more difficult. difficult. That one slayed the whole community when it first dropped. Yes. Oh, I was raging <laughs> over yeah. that. I was so mad. The setups that we have. Everybody had their own setups that were that were basically just the equivalent of SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob trying to teach uh, Squidward how to <laughs> yeah. blow the bubbles and whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is one of my per personal favorite Hundo uh, levels here. So you drop inside of one of these squares, grab this, and just reverse all the way back, uh, and just go ahead and drop that in front of here and re remove the floor, and we're actually out of this level right away. Oh, that was cool. That's beautiful. That's a cool <laughs> level. I love it. Here's the like the blind photo I was talking about. You just look at the wall, take it, and because the geometry like is not affected by photos and includes the photos you take of stuff behind it. So mm -hmm. exactly, and then he's going to be able to exit uh, this level after. Uh, potentially making the battery fall exactly onto the pad instead of like having instead of putting the battery onto the pad yourself. Mm -hmm. um, a little parkour here. Love this. This nice. This hub world particularly has the most optional levels of any other section of the game, and so this one is my second favorite one. So what you're just gonna do here is duplicate a battery once, and then duplicate two batteries for a second duplication. Then we're gonna have a total of four batteries that we're all gonna drop at the same time. Or rolls of film. Oh, no, you're right. The batteries, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and batteries the in the background. And, and with the background. Right. So we do, yeah. So sometimes the floor will be close enough together where it'll get the batteries get kind of pinched. And so what we can do here is take an extra one go. if we ever have it. Yeah, nice, wonderful really nice background. Job. That that that's a really good level from like a design perspective. And that when you actually figure it out, it just makes you feel really smart. Yeah. Yes. And, and I appreciate that a lot about it. Absolutely. Uh, this uh, next level introduces the concept of like boom boxes and sound. There are like sensors that pick up sound from a specific distance. And so uh, we're taking pictures to make sure all of these uh, uh, boom boxes, especially the ones that you pull with levers on, though their, their, uh, their sound waves are all within distance of the actual sensor that'll open up the teleporter at the end. <laughs> There's like a really weird hitbox 31. Uh, here yeah. for this one. It's really strange. You 32. It's, yeah, I think what it is is Kate has to finish the yes. voice line. Oh, there. yeah. Okay. 30, you're right. Let's Four. 35. Nice. Five. Just nice. giving us a chance to jam out to the music. Yeah, game. right. <laughs> Great. Here we have a photo with a receiver and a uh, music box. So we can just take a photo of it and then make a little chain going here all the way over to this teleporter. That was a little short there. Nice. There we go. There perfect. We go. Nice. Really stretching the distance of, of, of uh, those sound waves and those receivers. Yeah. Do you remember before we had that a photo we put down as a collectible? We're going to do the same thing here. Two photos downward. So We're going to grab the collectible, go all the way back, and do the exact same thing. Really nice job. And this, is be, and this will be the second to last la level of this uh, particular series of puzzles. Um, and we're just going to take a picture of uh, the second half that has the timer and uh, the speaker so it can reach the receiver and we can exit the portal before the timer runs out. I love, I love this level in particular. It's a beautiful level. It really is. Um, and this particular uh, uh, puzzle has a really nice strat to it. Instead of doing like everything that we need to do that the game intends us for us to do, instead of going to um, just put this guy right here and nice. barely really be able nice. to exit. Uh, because the speaker immediately turns on the receiver, that immediately turns on the uh, uh, teleporter, and you have to immediately like uh, interact with the teleporter because the moment that you step off uh, the sensor, the speaker will turn off and the receiver will not, will turn the teleporter off. It's like a lot like shorter of a window than you think it is. Maybe have time for like one dono potentially. Yeah. 
I got one donor right here for you. Uh, Fifty dollars from Pickled Human, Ooh. saying excellent to see this reality-shattering game broken so fast and completely. Thanks, Human. Um, this I don't even know how to explain this one. This is just <laughs> oh, 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 a little no. bit too angled. Uh, we have two photos that we need here and a collectible, which Zuch already grabbed. Good to go. Um, we do need to keep that battery on that other side to be able to grab nice it. Job. And just barely got it. Nice job. Able to put that. Really great. That's good. Nice. That's, yeah. That's really. Those jumps that around the fencing, even with the ground that are tilted like that, are not easy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Another another hundo level here. It's ba this one is pretty straightforward. Zuch, do you want to commentate on this one? Yeah, so we just took a photo of this original battery here, and uh, we're just going to place it by the teleporter. I'm going to come around and grab this planet, get our collectibles. Yeah. I'll take a photo of the teleporter and the battery, and then we are going to rendezvous back towards this original battery, because we need three to charge this teleporter. So we're just getting all of our ducks in a row. Do some more juggling. Really nice yeah, juggling. Very similar to an earlier puzzle that we saw. And now... Uh, probably my least favorite level in the game, and I think maybe Zuch's too. <laughs> I think, oh I think man, this puzzle is great. This was this was <laughs> a know. real mind bender. It was yeah yeah. So this one's a bit of a nightmare. We what we do here in order to to not do the puzzles intended is that we grab the watermelon and hit that viewfinder oh. at the same time so we can hold our watermelon and have a second photo without having to chop the watermelon as you're supposed to. That's yeah. a, that's another use of like the double binds, basically, yes. right? Yeah, it's when, when you well, do I think it's it's just being at the viewfinder and having the angle of the watermelon and the viewfinder in the same like physical spot. Uh, yeah, okay. when you pick up the watermelon while the prompt to take a photo is up, you'll be able to take a photo yeah. once How? you drop the watermelon. Yeah. Okay. Do you do the infinite chair jump in this level? Yeah, I'm going to do the hardest trick in the game in the yeah. next level. Yeah, I, I have so a real quick question. Yeah. Were we at 35? I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, we, were yeah. So, yeah. we were at 35. We yeah. were at 35, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My one job. <laughs> yeah, and so in this next section, uh, yeah. uh, Zuch is going to do a similar trick. Uh, to this is I love where I grab this one, I super cool. Um, so this level is a really, really long perspective puzzle, but Zuch is going to flick his camera up, and when he sits down in the chair, he's going to wait for that flick come out of it, and then he's going to teleport to the corner. All These right. jumps are so gnarly. That's, nice. one, that's part one. one. That's part one. Oh, now oh. we have to set it up again, flick the camera. But the second hard part here is actually holding back onto the ledge so you can actually make that work. Sit in the chair, wait for the camera to go up. And nice. Oh, wow. That's that is hard so hard. Right there. Wow. It's so difficult. Yeah, we used to be able to like wow. actually see what we were doing, but then a patch unfortunately made it so that we're just kind of stuck inside the chair for that. And so we basically we were just like, wow, we're never going to be able to do this again. And, and sh huge shout out to Rye for like really trying to grind down that trick 100%. and making it viable. 100% America. Appreciate that. 36. This is the last chance to 37. pet Kate in the game, so I'm going to grind out the 38. Rest of the All right. Setting. 39. 40. 40. 41. 41. Look at how happy. Look at how happy so they are. Cute. 40. 42. 43. <laughs> 44. All right, okay. never mind. Uh, <laughs> 45. All right. Woo. Thank you for all those donuts. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys really um, impressed me with Knowing that. what happens to Kate. I'm uh, really glad that we yeah. did that. We got 45 pets. <laughs> yeah. Really. Have we ever exactly explained like what Kate is? We haven't really delved too much in, into the lore, but Kate is basically like the AI companion for one of the main scientists that was trying to work on this project to reverse climate change here, which is actually this was her life's work, um, and this is this is kind of like a a big shift in the in the plot or in the in the story right here where. She, you try turning it on, you've been trying to get here the whole time, then it breaks, and then the game is going to get really... is going to start to break itself mm -hmm. as we go on from here. Yeah, each and every single level, as Bryce said earlier, is like based off of like the experiments of all of the uh, scientists, but there is only four scientists, and there's a fifth world that is kind of like an amalgamation of like all of the mechanics that we've seen so far. And plus some new ones. Plus new ones as well. And uh, it kind of supposed to represent all of like the, the efforts that were that were attempted but then lost uh, that they had uh, as they were experimenting trying to solve the climate crisis. You are welcome to get in a donation or two here, by the yeah. way. Sure thing. Yeah, we got $10 from Salbo saying, Hi all, loving the run so far. I've been putting my cat muffins for every pet given in the game. Wonderful. And she's <laughs> loving the attention. She and I both thank everyone who donated to see all of these pets. I love you all. 
And it uh, should be mentioned, by the way, friends, we are less than $3,000 away from the all-level showcase of Spark the Electric Gesture 3. Keep those donations coming in. We've got only one run in between now and then, so keep on donating. Beautiful. We have a skip here found by the one and only Brian Otto. It's my favorite strat. <laughs> hammer skip, because there's a random hammer. Nobody Just likes the strat except here. for me. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm a little early on the jump there. There, uh, there you go. It's there you fantastic. Go. It's an incredibly difficult jump to do. Um, and in this level, as Brian said, there are new mechanics introduced uh, right here. Um, we are uh, introduced to the idea of uh, cameras, like selfie cameras that have selfies. timers on them. And you see that uh, black figure that's right there? That's us. And whatever, like, whenever we place a photo that has us in it, we get teleported immediately to where we place the photo. Um, it's an incredibly interesting mechanic that uh, gets introduced really late into the game. Um, and it's one of the more mind-bending ones. Similar, similar situation here. The game shows you how to do it. It kind of makes it more complicated. One thing I will add, though, uh, we have no more collectibles in the game, actually. Actually, we're just playing the levels as intended, so we just need to finish all the rest of the levels, and the hundo will be considered complete, assuming we have all the collectibles. Exactly. Fire. And if you might notice here, not only are you teleported exactly to the position of where uh, you mm. took a picture of yourself, but you're also teleported in the same orientation. So, like as you can see, uh, Zuch is going to be facing the right here, and then immediately he faces to the right the moment that he places down the photo, uh, which is really useful just to re clean. for minuscule time saves uh, throughout the run. Nice job. Nicely done. Going up on this next level, we have a puzzle that I don't even remember, if I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, I don't remember the solve for this. This was a day zero strat. I don't even know what's <laughs> to the right of the screen, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a jump selfie, which is wild. <laughs> This and one. here, intentionally, they want us to go on the other side of these bars so we can take a photo of ourselves and then teleport up top here to this teleporter. Um, but instead, we're just going to take two photos on this side of the bars because if we're quick with our photo placement, Nice. nice, beautiful, nice. fantastic. Really nice. That movement is so much more hard, like so much more harder than it looks. And so this level introduces the void camera. So things are starting to kind of break down now. We're doing a bunch of stuff that we shouldn't be doing. And so the cameras are actually destroying the world around us and will completely remove the geometry uh, and like platforming there. So it kind of it's going to change the way that you have to think about solving the puzzles once again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's actually an incredibly like, jarring mechanic. I like I got just scary. It was scary, scary. It was yeah. scary the yeah. that I played it for the first time. Absolutely. Yeah. I love this room. It's very cool. Yeah. There's a couple of these levels have really cool solves where if you place them exactly correctly, that battery will fall exactly on just like, like that. that. Fantastic job. Beautiful. Really satisfying if you get them. I'm going to take a picture of the wall here and said use it as like a platform to get over to the other side. Um, and it, it combines the mechanic that we saw in level four, uh, where all this purple architecture does not get affected by anything that the camera does. And that includes the void camera, of course. Upcoming here, we have probably one of this the levels most fun. So, this, I'm gonna, this whole part's I'm going to try to keep up here. So we're going to take a photo of a battery. Then we're going to take a photo and drop a battery and take a photo of ourselves taking a photo of a battery and taking a photo of ourselves taking a photo of that battery. Makes that sense. was nicely done. Thank also. you. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I'm actually impressed with that commentary. Yeah, that was great. It was great. Best level of the game. And that will be on the test, by the way. <laughs> yeah, keep track. Uh, and this is the last main level. We're going to take a picture of ourselves from a distance because uh, the moment that we travel over here to the beginning, uh, we're going to stand on this pad and the timer uh, will count down really fast and when we step off of it, and so we can just, boom, teleport directly to where the teleporter is at the end right there. All right, here we go. The final Lost level. Rush. The, the final level is like a time level. It's uh, you, you have five minutes to complete it, which is about four minutes too much um, <laughs> for Zooch. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be combining a lot of the elements that we've seen throughout the entire game. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, honestly, I mean, it's definitely the hardest part of the game. Well, I would say one of, the, one of the parts of the game that is oh. mechanically truly, really difficult. It's going to... Uh, there's like so many different strats and routes you can use to get through here. It really just kind of gives you this almost a playground, really. To there's like multiple different ways you can solve this using multiple different like counts of pictures. Um, and so we're going to be taking a basically this whole level is going to be resource management. We're going to be taking pictures and like using them for later, and we have exact precise uses for all of them. It's it's really really cool just to kind of watch this whole thing flow. And I really wish there were more levels like this in the game because they yeah. are awesome. I love the idea of the final level of the game, proving that you know how to use every single mechanic in the game and kind of making it like an expert level of the things you've already learned. So I, I really love this ending. Yeah, exactly. We're coming up close on the end of this level right here, um, in which we just take a picture of ourselves and then use it to teleport to the other side of this purple architecture right there. 
Um, and I really enjoy the strat in this room where we position ourselves um, at this in very specific spot so that nice. uh, immediately we get to fill. That was incredibly lever. clean. Fantastic. So uh, time is coming up here in about, what, like a minute? I forget yeah, how yeah, long. We have here. to uh, watch this cutscene and then there's a bit more movement and then at the end of that section, that'll be time. Yeah, this, yeah um, obviously there are plot things going on here, but... The gist of it is that you basically just caused the simulation to collapse, and Kate is just kind of... Kate is the name of the cat, I don't know if we cover that. It's just kind of bargaining with that right now. Yeah. This ripped my heart out, casually, yeah. and I... Justice for Kate justice is all I have to say. Justice for the Kate. The unfortunate reality is that Kate only exists in the simulation, and we're about to leave the simulation, so we do have to say goodbye to Kate right now. And but I, but I, they don't even give you the option to stay in, then you just get... Oh, oh no, yeah, the tears. Like, oh. <laughs> the tears. <laughs> we are I know, they made him start crying. I like, know. Oh, Everyone say goodbye to Kate. Goodbye. Justice Bye, for Kate. Kate. I'm mad. <laughs> well, we are approaching the end of the game here, Zuch. Anything while we're wrapping up, kind of? Yeah, um, I will end up just doing my thanks after time ends. But yeah. uh, we have time coming up in like 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, as soon as he picks up the plan and then walks through the door, uh, it's going to fade to black, and that's when time is. So three, two, one, time. time. Nice. So even with all the pets, you got a 3408. Wow. That was beautiful. That was a lot wow. better run than I expected. <laughs> wow. So I'm happy about that. But yeah. hold on. After this cutscene ends, there should be two filters that pop up in the top right. Yep. One is compressed. That means we beat the game. The other is code. Code means we 100% of the game. So if code doesn't pop up, means we GDQ something. isn't inviting me back. <laughs> <laughs> we missed um, it. All right, let's see. see. So hopefully it's there. Nice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Got it all. Cool. 100% of viewfinder. Yeah, that's viewfinder 100% with 45 pets as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks to Sad Owl Studios for making the game. It's just so much Real. fun speedrunning wise and casually, so I recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to those who are watching and donated. Um, thanks to GDQ for having me as well. And then thanks to the best couch I could ever ask for. Oh, thank you so much. So uh, if you guys have any final last words, I'm done. You can go this way if you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was going to say for, uh, just main shout outs is to everyone else in the uh, community um, mm -hmm. that uh, worked on this game and like uh, really grinded it down. To, it, it, like, it got optimized like shockingly fast after it was released. It was released in July of last year and uh, not even a few months later it's already been showing off at a GDQ and it's absolutely amazing how uh, dedicated people were into to finding strats for this game and optimizing it as best as we can as the best as it could have been for any percent and 100%. And I also want to shout out all of the devs. The devs are incredibly supportive of the speedrunning community. Absolutely. Um, and like all of these people, uh, they even ended up joining Discord and uh, seeing all the things that we do there. It's amazing, especially a uh, huge thanks to Jacob Keen for like answering all of the questions that we have about like the code of this game and how it works and like why specific strats work that we don't really yes. understand. Like he's answered a lot of really good questions for us. And I can, I, it's really like, an amazing thing that uh, like a community cannot be more grateful for when a, when a, when the devs are supportive of the speedrunning community. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, absolutely. and they were tweeting out my GDQ run too. Oh, so awesome! They're very That's supportive so cool. of this, so that was heartwarming. Uh, think, Bobby, shoutouts for me. I will, I'll echo everything you just said. I think I'm going to shout out GDQ because we've had a lot of awesome puzzle game representation uh, at at this GDQ, and you know I. Been, a, been honored to be a part of the Medical Garden, Cocoon, Viewfinder, all of it. So shout out to all the all the puzzle games um, yeah. in this marathon and all the all the crew backstage helping out. So yeah. thank you. It's all a very all the puzzle games are very intertwined in communities. There's lots of overlap. So shout out to all of those communities as well. Absolutely. Right. Cool. I mean, y'all pretty much had everything I could. Uh, yeah, in a time where I kind of felt like I lost my personal spark with speedrunning, I found this game and I really loved it. So even watching watching Zooch crush this today was a joy. So Zooch, thanks for having me here. Thanks for commentating with me. So yeah, that's it for me, I think. Thank you guys. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's it for us. Uh, one final thanks to everyone for watching and goodbye, GDQ. And hashtag justice for Kate. Justice for Kate. True. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>